Well, it seems Derek Lunsford is the talk of the bodybuilding world. He's the toast of the town. Seems to be running things around here. Yes, after his showing at the Pittsburgh Pro, he didn't even compete. Didn't need to. Didn't need to. It was the guest posing, and I'm sure if you're watching this video, you didn't miss it. He made everybody look, well, like amateurs. Well, not that, not that bad, but he was a standout amongst the ranks, the, the top echelons of the open class in the IFBB, which begs the question... How good would Derek Lunsford do in the open class at the Mr. Olympia event? Of course, it hasn't happened yet. So, let's take pictures from last year, the open class guys. And you can see Nick Walker there. For this video, we're going to we're gonna kind of etch him out. Because, as you can see, he has a, a pretty big midsection. And at, at the Olympia, it was a little bit bigger of course, than it was at the Arnold's Classics. So it wasn't the best Nick Walker is what I'm saying. He did place fairly high, but I just did a one-on-one -on -one between Derek Lunsford and Nick Walker, and yeah, I have to say, I like Derek a little bit better. But like I said, a bigger midsection. Could Derek get the victory over the other guys quite so easily? Well, that's specious reasoning. Wouldn't it be fair to actually place Derek Lunsford in some lineups before you ask the question, could he win the Olympia event? Well, I have to say, this took a little bit of doing to set up, but you guys are worth it. This is Derek in the lineup with, I guess, the last place guys, the, the 16th, 15th, 14th, and 13th. That's uh, Andrea Presti. Regan Grimes on the other end, they're the bookends there. And Pat Moore and Hassan Mustafa. Who do you guys think is winning? Hmm? Come on, Derek Lunsford. He would not have been in that call out. But just to be fair, have a look at the backs as well. Because conditioning counts. Lunsford is a beast. At 212 pounds, he looks bigger. I know he's not, but he looks bigger than Hassan Mustafa. Maybe Pat might be in the best condition out of this line, to tell you the truth. Aside from Derek Lunsford, I would wager to say, for sure, for sure, he would be out of that pack. Let's skip him way ahead to these guys. Akeem Williams, who is that there? Mohamed Shaban. Shaban plays 10th. Akeem got 9th. Justin Rodriguez in 8th. And Ian Valier. 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 He got 7th. So, everybody here, and uh, Derek Lunsford, he's winning. He's winning. And I'm not being biased because I'm making this video and I want to get him into the, you know, I want to get him into that first call out. But it's only fair to place him next to these guys first, right? And I gotta say, he is winning. But it's only fair, of course, to take a look at the back developments as well. This one is a fun one. This is a fun one. Wow, wow. And it is going... Just as planned. The reason why I'm so excited is because, well, if these guys were defeating Derek Lunsford, there would be no point of putting him against the top four, the top four guys. But I have to say, he's even beating William Bonac in the conditioning and in the back development. Since these guys are highly ranked, it's only fair to look at the side development as well. And this is where Lunsford... He takes a step back as far as size, not condition, not separation, aesthetics either. He looks awesome. Actually, William Bonac, side wheel on him, about the exact same. And Lunsford in the upper body looks awesome. This begs the question, how big do you want your wheels? How big do you, it almost looks like the, op the open class guys, their legs, uh, Ian Valier, his legs look too big for his upper body. He's standing up, you know, he's holding his own. And I think he was winning the front and the uh, the back shot that I did show. Abs and thigh. This would be an automatic victory for Derek Lunsford as well. I don't see anybody in this lineup. And keep on. And uh, you got to keep in mind, guys. These are, you know, William Bonac. He plays sixth. And uh, who is it? Shaban. He plays tenth. Just to be fair, because these guys are so good, let's have a look at the the rear double by as well. And if there was any question whatsoever, Justin, Justin's probably the best in this shot. Side from Derek. Derek Small, yes. 
but huge in stature, separation. I think for sure, and I'm not just saying this, Derek Lunsford would be put in this grouping. I would wager to say. And he fits right in. Quality. Now, if you are asking yourself, is Derek Lunsford going to go into the Olympia this year? Well, desktop bodybuilding, Xavier Wills, awesome channel. He just made a video on that, and you'll have to watch for yourself. Gives you the answer. Is he going to compete? Is he going to compete in the Open or 212? Go watch that video, Xavier Wills. But first and foremost, guys, let's see how Derek Lunsford would have did last year had he competed. And to be honest with you, Diane, this will give us a good idea of how Lunsford will look if he does step up to the two to the open class rather from the 212. Aside from maybe an inch or two on those wheels, which is a lot, an inch or two on your wheels, and he would have that. Aside from that, now he is kind of getting lost in the pack as far as size is concerned. But my keen eye, I see a nice vacuum pose. And maybe the best feet taper? I don't know. I don't know. Hattie Chupon and Brandon Curry looks tremendous as too. Or tremendous. Tremendous as too? He looks good. He looks good. I think Lunsford, personally, hey, I have him right up there. It would be a difficult decision. But size is going to take into effect here. And I think the judges would probably place him fourth. I would wager to say he's beating Hunter Labrada. Go through these shots here because... You know, we're already almost seven minutes in. Almost seven minutes in. Midsection, Lunsford all the way. Hey, Rami looks good too. Size is going to catch up to Lunsford in these lineups. Wheels this time. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Brandon Curry in this shot. It's the pitcher. It's the timing. Although his front lat spreads did look better earlier on in his career. Hattie Shupin. Look at that guy. I, I, I'd have Derek third in this. I'd have him beating Brandon Curry actually. And, of course, Hunter. Next shot here, the side. And, unfortunately, the, the timing is off for Hunter and for Brandon Curry. But I'm using my memory, things of that nature. Hey, I don't think that Rami looks that good in this shot. Wheels, of course, he's winning. But upper body? I don't know. I don't know. Hunter just does not belong in this grouping as far as condition, with all due respect. Hey, I like the guy. He's always wearing his hat, things of that nature, but man, size and condition are going to, like I said, catch up to Lunsford with Hattie Schupen. He's awesome. Side tricep. You know, everybody is able to hit it now. And look, look at even the conditioning of Hunter Labrada. He knows this is his shot. So, you know, he, lo he looks awesome in this. Lunsford might even place last in the side tricep. So he is vulnerable from the side. It exposes, you know, how big he is. Still, I would say the condition of his wheels beating Curry. Curry needs more separation. He is hard and grainy. Hard and grainy. Soups and stews. <laughs> Gotta stay away from soups and stews if you want to be hard and grainy. Turn around. This is the meter test. The meter stick. The test. Condition. Big Rammy. <laughs> Not the most aesthetic creature in the world. Hey, I think Hattie Schupin's winning this one. He has that separation. That hard, grainy look. Derek is in better condition, I would say. Look at that. Big Rammy's in pretty good condition, too. Last in line, of course, Hunter. And, huh, Brandon Curry, not the best as far as that's concerned either. But he is a big, wide back. The judges are going to look at that. But surely, surely they would see that just crisp muscle separation of Lunsford. He's like a mini Phil Heath. Look at those strided glutes. Rear double buys, an even stronger pose for him. Although it is a weaker pose for Curry and for Rami as well, so that helps him. And what I mean by Curry is his rear lat is a better pose than his rear double, in my opinion, that is. And of course, Rami, you can't really argue with that fact. Hmm, hmm. Is Hunter even losing this one? Hunter? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Condition wise, he is. And that's that's not saying he's in bad condition. This is these are awesome conditioned athletes. This is Hattie Schupin. Back for back. I got Lunsford in the win. But overall, I don't know. Hattie's Hattie might be winning this one. Difficult to say. Personally. Might sound crazy, but Derek Lunsford, 
He might have the best rear double buy in the IFBB. Keep in mind, Nick Walker's not here. And he did lose a lot of those shots from the front. But the, even at the Olympia, his rear double buy might have been the best in the game today. Abs and thigh shot. Hattie Shupin getting ripped off here. Although I do have a thing known as a memory. A memory. And I remember Hattie Shupin had a very unbeatable abs and thigh in this one. Looked better than Brandon Curry's. And Big Ram Rams. And Ramrod, I have to say, Ramrod, size-wise, condition, abs, diced, peeled. He has the size, not the prettiest. Aesthetic-wise, I'd give it to Curry. I'd give it to Curry. Derek Lunsford, more than holding his own. So impressed with this little guy. Little, little. He's 260 pounds right now. Well, he probably already lost 10 pounds. I mean, the guy has to be able to lose a lot of weight. He was massive. Most muscular to finish this one off, and most certainly he would get lost in a pose like this. For the most muscular, the side shots, maybe Derek wouldn't have won. He might not even have placed last, though. Probably in the side tricep, but in the most muscular, he's maybe beating Hunter. And this is not the best position for Hattie Schupin. He has a nice hands clasped. I think he's just indulging Brandon Curry. So, the most muscular, along with the, the side tricep, maybe the front double, and you know, a couple other shots. Maybe Derek would have looked underwhelming in size, but none of them was he out-conditioned, and the muscle separation looked good in a lot of the shots. It's just size, I think, would have caught up to him. I don't think he would have won the Olympia. I don't think he would have placed first I th honestly think the judges would have placed him fourth I think he would have got fourth keep in mind I already had him defeating Nick Walker using this 2021 version of each and I wager to say for sure he was beating Hunter Labrada might even might have even been defeating Brandon Curry but he was a former Olympia champion so he even got a victory over Hattie Shupin, but I just don't think Derek would have defeated Hattie. And fourth place at the Olympia would have got him 40 grand. He got 50 grand for winning 212. So obviously he made the right decision. If he gets bigger, if he gets bigger, and like I said, watch desktop bodybuilding, there's your answer. So if he competes now, this year, and maybe next year, whatever it is, hey, he's going to pack on some size. And who knows what Curry's going to bring. Maybe Curry will be undersized. If that if that situation took place, then he would, in fact, get into that second, maybe third, second, maybe even first place finish. And when finances are worth it, when it's financially worth it to do it, of course. But there's the prestige of winning as well. And of course, winning the open class Olympia and the 212, you couldn't beat it. You couldn't beat it. Who knows? The, the, the sky's the limit for the future of Derek Lunsford. Hit thumbs up on the video. I'm sure you guys enjoyed this one. A little bit long. Have your protein shakes, some water as well. Have a great day.